Hey guys, Fun of Storios here. If you guys remember last episode, I said I was going to be setting up a treasure island just like Esgal's treasure island. This is actually going to be the island we're going to be setting up. I'm basically going to transform this island to look a lot better to terraforming because I've went and got a bunch of sand right here. It's not a bunch, it's a decent amount, and a bit of dirt to actually basically just build the island up, make it bigger and nicer. Because they're going to be hiding barrels and stuff through it. And then we're also going to be giving... Basically, people are able to buy shovels to actually try to find the loot. Because if they do find it, it's actually going to be a better end for them. But besides that, we're probably going to make a lot of diamonds from this. Considering people love to play games like this. And usually people actually don't come up with uh, getting anything. But if they get lucky, they will. But uh, I guess I'm going to talk to you in just a sec once I've transformed the island. It feels like I'm skydiving when I text you Rose petals on the floor outside your bedroom Sunshine whenever you smile Alright, hey guys, welcome back from that I've spent a lot of time transforming the island As you guys can see now, it looks completely different It's kind of hard to even recognize it from the other island Because I've done a lot This main island may not look too much But what I've done is expanded this green area The grass over a lot more that was like an overhang over here, so I think it looks pretty good. But I'm not amazing with terraforming, but uh, I can do quite a bit with it. So I have like an overhang right there, so I think that looks pretty cool. We have a little campsite. I've added little rocks around. These lanterns I'll probably leave so monsters don't spawn on the island. Because if a creeper spawns and someone uses it to their advantage, it kind of sucks because it's kind of cheating. So I'm, I need to leave the lanterns, sadly. But I've also built a whole island over here. So we have a bridge to the second island. This whole island right here, it's, I get it's not that big. But I don't think you guys realize how much sand it takes to actually build an island. I went through like two shulkers building this. It does go all the way down so it looks more real. But the thing is, yeah, you, you probably, like, that makes sense if I use two shulkers. No, no, it's hollow. It's just a thin layer and that takes a lot of sand. So, it's just insane with how much sand this took and then dirt. So, it's kind of just oof. But, uh, I think what we're about to go do now is head over to the shopping district. And I'm going to show you the actual shop I set up where people can buy their spoons and hints. Because then after, because I have to fill up the spoons, I've done the redstone, but... I had mommy, I paid her a creeper head because that's what she was wanting for me, for her to basically get a bunch of gold. I gave her all the gold and then she just made a bunch of shovels basically at random durability. So that's really good. But uh, we're about to head over there so we could stock it up and then we'll bury all the barrels. So let's head over there. So we've made it to the shop right here. There was originally a landscaping shop here. That was owned by Coffee, who was the old business partner over there to Atlantic. But I asked, uh, hey, could I take it down since he's no longer on the server and it's shop's useless? He said, yeah, why not? So I'm like, I uh, took it down because this was like an amazing place to actually set up a shop. I still, of course, paid uh, to actually own the area because it was already owned, but the guy was no longer in. So we took down the shop and threw all the items in the barrel since they weren't my items. But yeah, uh, I, it's supposed to be like a little mini version of the island over there. So it's like a little island surrounded by water. Got a nice little palm tree. I had a little skull. If you guys are curious how I got all these, those were raining yesterday night with a thunderstorm. So you just have to make a charge creeper and they blow up on another mob. You get a skull. So that's pretty nice. Um, I've made the system right here. So basically it's 15 diamonds. I'm not doing 32 like Isgal that's a bit pricey and I don't think I have enough like overall diamonds to afford to put how much he was putting because he was putting upwards at least a stack per round per barrel so I ain't that rich but I do plan on putting just about all my diamonds to this because I knew in the end I should come up with more than what I put in but with this I literally just copied uh, his gal signs literally just rewrote every single one except for a few top one uh, not the original, same for this one, because we had to change the coordinates that were ours, not his. And this I changed to uh, Final Story Use instead of Iskal 85. But besides that, I also changed this one because it was 32 diamonds what he put. We were charging 15 because I feel like it's a reasonable price. 
and right here is where you're going to be able to buy them. You put your payments in the barrel. I've put an e-chest here too. And then my plan is, uh, this may take two button bushes because the redstone's a bit wonky and I don't feel like fixing it, but I'll probably will fix it eventually, but right now it's going to take two button bushes. Not every time, every other. Sometimes it takes one, sometimes it takes two. It depends how the redstone's wanting to be. Because it's a bit random, it's kind of stupid, but <laughs> I'm too lazy to fix it. I do need to get some more food because, uh, you know, I got one piece of steak. But I do plan on actually adding hints because if we add hints, that's also at least in the five diamonds. We do five diamonds per hint, and then hints in the end may still not help them find it. So I think we're going to do hints right here. I'll make a dropper system and all that to put out a hint. But what I'm going to do is head back to the island and actually set up the thing. But before I head to the island, what we're going to go do is whatever it's called. So Garrett basically restocked his mystery shulker shop because since this episode is kind of going to be a little bit about, you know, like gambling because of my treasure island that you guys just saw. It's about completely done, so, but with that, uh, Garrett actually set up, he restocked it, it's actually been here longer than my treasure island, because I just built that, obviously, but it's six diamond blocks for a random, um, shulker, so we're gonna take a gamble and go for it, oh, I'm supposed to put it in the barrel, I thought that was a hopper, yeah, boom, filter through, and we got a blue one, so, let's see what we got. All right, I think think we did pretty good there. We got two stacks of diamonds, six wither skulls, a bunch of, ooh, it's a big rocket. <laughs> bunch of shulker, we got a bunch of stuff. God, look at all this. Two netherite ingots, that's even better. Oh, two different stuff of rockets, eggs, more bottles of enchanting. Yeah, I think we did pretty good. I think we may hit it again later in the episode. We'll see. But I think that's maybe one of the best ones, but I have no idea what he put in there. So I think we did really good with that, because those six diamonds we made basically double what we put in, and more. So that's pretty good. Alright, uh, let's go see what we're going to do next. I think we maybe work on the houses, or go do a bit more on the treasure island. We'll see. There we are. Our treasure island is basically done. Because I've went ahead and hidden all our treasures. So with all the treasures now hidden, a total I think I hid about 26 before I ran out of loot. I was wanting to do 32 but I ran out of diamonds and everything else I was hiding with them. But uh, I'll definitely in version 2 be adding a lot more because I'll have a lot more profit to put towards this which is really good. But uh, I do have clues coming soon, I've posted it out in the discord so we should have people coming down here soon to actually start trying it out and seeing who can find any you know goodies and all which is really good and I do want to work a bit more on probably the island in a little while once we maybe get a bit of diamonds eh, actually well I guess it's technically already done so later in the episode we'll probably just add clues and then start working on I'm hoping the actual base so we can do like a village kind of thing but we'll see, so let's do that. All right, so we are about to start building, but what I've done is went and farmed all this wood and I bought a bit of glass, as you can see right here. But the reason the audio may sound quite a bit different with my voice or I'm louder, I'm having to do a voiceover because the audio for this clip actually messed up. So hopefully that doesn't make that big of a difference, but we'll see. But what I've also done is actually went back to the mystery box thing and did it again, and we got wood. But with this wood, we won't use the majority of it, but yeah. We'll probably only really use the dark oak because that's the only one that seems too useful. Because I have a lot of jungle, we don't use it. Birch may use a little bit of it. And then the rest is kind of useless. We may just sell it because it's 56 diamonds if we sold it all. We also pay 56 for it. But we also technically made profit because we got a shulker with it. But, you know, that was the last time we could actually hit the random mystery because he limited it to two per person and we used our two. But besides that, I do plan on building a house right there, and then when I do also plan on building a, with my mine shaft, like a little nice shack over it to make it look better. And then I just kind of plan on moving everything and changing and building houses here. 
I think that would look a lot better. I do plan on moving my trees and then moving my grass farming area to somewhere else. But besides that, just pay attention to the way it looks now and the way it's about to look after. It's going to change dramatically. But I think that's really about it. So let's go ahead and see what I've built and get to it. So after the hard work of about three days of me building or so, yeah, I did spend a lot longer than I wanted to. I was wanting like a couple hours. But after the hard work, um, this is what I've came out with. I know it's quite a bit. I mean, it's overwhelming with how good it is. You know, I got a little house going here. I do want to build a couple more. And since I do, um, my plan is with this wheat farm, I do want to expand it across like everything around here. And then have a windmill in it right here. Just a big windmill going up like for the wheat. If you guys remember, this is where the mine was. You know, it's going all the way down. And then this is full of seeds and then from what I went mining. And I should be getting a lot more seeds because I've used like over a whole shulker at least. Just this little part. This may look like nothing. But god I've spent so many seeds and two diamond hoes on this. It's not even a lot. It makes no sense. But I got a little beach house so I want to put a couple of these round leading to the path. You yeah, know, looks pretty nice. I, didn't, I don't do interior. I, I, I'm very bad with interior. Okay, it's kind of, kind of sucks, but a little beach house. But I mean, yeah, it took three days to build all this. Yeah, I mean, it was hard, man. I, I sat there grinded for those three days working on just a little bit stuff. But uh, besides that, I also I do want to have the wheat going through here. I did build uh, two more farms technically. Technically, I said two because it's just one. I have a melon and pumpkin farm right here. You know, it's pretty good. Gets me a decent amount. And then this is for wheat. I plant the wheat there. Then it gets to working. It also be used for double flowers. It's kind of broken because of server lag, so it doesn't work well. So, got to dig the wheat by hand because I deactivated the piston. But all fun games. Uh, I did not actually spend three days on just this. This was maybe a couple hours for all this. That week took the longest. The Nether Portal is nice. I actually, I feel real proud about the Nether Portal. It looks really nice in my opinion. But as you can see in the distance over there, this is what I've spent the time working on. The port, most of you probably didn't realize there's a little lake back here. But there is, and I spent the time decorating it. As you can see the sea lantern, sea grass. This doesn't normally happen in the lake. There's Pete, he's checking it out. But you know, the portal looks nice. And if we head around over here, do do all right oh i'm out of food we'll talk to pete in a minute once i we go over everything but uh, let's see once you walk up the port the port's nowhere near done as you can see there's not even a guard trail here i built little boats this is the reason i made the melon and pumpkin farm there's a little boat here because i needed to place melons and pumpkins around these little shops i'm thinking about making these things Making, uh, see I'm building houses up there. I want to put these houses for up for rent and then you get a shop with each house. This little tavern I have going on here. It needs a lot of work. It's just a quick, like, ten minute thing. Yeah, with well, along with the shops, it looks nice. And Ray's also planning on building a battleship over here. What me and Ray have done is dug out this mountain. There was a mountain right here. It was pretty big. We just dug it out and then we're, he's going to build a battleship right there. Make it look like it's landing at the port. The port's, like I said, nowhere near done. I probably need another day or two working on it. But, eh, we'll probably finish it up next episode. And then start actually working on the wheat farm and the village heading that way. Because if we can get all of that done, that'd be really good. Because I want it leading up to a massive castle. These are the houses I've been built. But, uh, it needs a lot of work, I know. I mean, it looks good, but it still needs a lot of more work of adding stuff, so... I think, uh, I believe we have something else to go do now, because we have to go do some terraforming for one of the other survivors, because he was wanting us to do some terraforming, because he was asking around for people, and I said, sure, I can do it, why not? So, let's go ahead over there and do that. So, we're here now, and basically, he's went ahead and given me a down payment of 10 diamond blocks, which is... A lot more than I was expecting, I won't lie about that much, but we won't know about the full amount of what we're going to get until tomorrow, because he said, basically he said it was going to be a lot more, so I'm, I'm thinking like 15 or so, which 
there's a lot more diamonds than I thought I was gonna get. Cause I was like, eh, I'll probably maybe get 20, 30 diamonds. Be satisfied. <laughs> nah, he, he went ahead and gave me more than that off just a down payment. But uh, I'm hoping I'm going to be doing it to his liking. Cause this is the start of it so far. I think it's looking all right. I have to curve it all the way down around that mountain. I'm worried about hitting his boat. If I do, I'll just move it over and act like I didn't, but we'll see. So let's quickly terraform all the way around the mountain. All right, and we're done with the terraforming. I mean, what do you guys think? I mean, I believe it came out pretty well in my opinion. I mean, it took me about an hour and a half roughly. I did have to get a lot of materials because what he gave me wasn't fully enough. So I'd get grass leaves and all that. But for the payment that he paid me, I think it was definitely worth it. Because I thought I wasn't even going to get half the amount, he said. Like, he gave me 28 in total. 10 is a down payment. 15 when I was done with the actual thing. And then he gave me 3 extra just to add the leaves around. Because I went and got leaves to put bushes up top, as you guys can see. See right there, I put bushes around. And then I was like, I mean, could you add leaves around it? And I was like, sure. And he gave me 3 extra down blocks just for like a minute of me throwing leaves around. So I think that's actually really good. But, yeah, I mean, as you can see, it turned out pretty well for the price. So, man, he definitely overpaid in my opinion. Oh, where's my hoe? I know I got a hoe on me. But, yeah, in my opinion, I would have taken, like, half that. But we're not going to tell him till he watches this video, which comes out tomorrow. He'll figure that out. But, yeah, I think it turned out pretty well, so let's keep going. So I've decided to basically, I'm going to be building a terraforming shop because after terraforming for him, I thought about it and I was like, I mean, I got paid a decent amount. Sure, I feel like he did kind of overpay, but I'm never going to say anything to people who overpay because, you know, I want the extra diamond. I mean, it could have not have been an overpay, but I mean, I kind of feel personally like it was because I, well, 28 diamond blocks just for that little mountain. Like, I don't know. I mean, that could be the standard price, we'll see. But, um, as I'm ending this episode, yeah, I know it's going to be cut a, quite a bit short than what I've previously been posting, but that's because I spent majority of the time working on the base and kind of didn't get clips because I was busy just flat out building and getting resources. But as I have my wallet here, well, my shulker of goodies, at least that's goodies, but, uh, I think we're going to buy a land. I'm not sure what land we're going to do. Because with we pick it right, we could have a decent prime location for um, basically the shop. So, uh, I don't know. But look forward to next episode for us working probably on the base quite a bit more. I know, just cut the... Hey, you guys don't want to see much besides the, the progress I've built. But hey, I got to make sure the base looks nice for everything. And uh, we'll see. But I should be setting up a terraforming shop next episode which would be pretty cool but at the rate we're going we're setting up a shop about every episode which is kind of funny because say by episode 50 we have 50 shops set up I doubt it's gonna go like that but I'm just setting up a lot of shops to make sure we can make a lot of diamonds and everything and gives us something to do during the time because then people can pay for it and then we spend time restocking or in this case it's a service and then Treasure Island here is like done. No one else is really going to be buying anything else on it. No one's bought anything about two days. But I know exactly why. It's because the island, everyone just dug it out. Because you guys remember at the beginning of the episode, you know, I had a nice island. Since about a week later, the island's gone. <laughs> like, I believe there may be two barrels left. Two or three barrels, could be more. I don't know if any of the survivors uh, want to come back and try to find them go for it if not completely fine I'm not gonna dig up the two barrels that are left three five I don't know but there's a couple barrels left through this island and the other one you guys try to get them if you want or not forget them I'm forgetting them but in the future I will be bringing back treasure island for level two I would say around episode five or six so hey look forward to that but uh, I think that's gonna be about it for this episode see you guys next time it's final story is lighting off bye guys